Hello, so we are for and today we're gonna play Turbo Space Program Part 2. Let's start. So now we're gonna open my project Porcelain. Alright. Video that I wasn't actually here in my board and I didn't record. Just like I said that early day, I put in the um, description that it's the reason why. Yeah, the reason why it didn't set up. The mic wasn't. The mic wasn't even know that there was a mic on it, it was really not even disconnected. So I didn't even like sign the news and six hours. Oh well. But I hope I am talking right now because otherwise I'm just going to be so But otherwise I'll put it just six says I really miss something. Oh well, let's get on. So the other day I did a sense of loss of a one and a two. That was the end of the ship. And now we're gonna send number three. Which recorded this and it won't be Jabba Die anymore because I used I did two times in the first video. Recover vessel. Recover vessels have required. I mean recovered. I'm dope. We got 40.9. 40. Whoa, 40. That's a lot. We should actually go to research now. We Bob currently got one that's keeping. Let's see, the parachute is 15. Uh, we have the huge shield. Yeah, let's go to the rocket part because it's important. Oh, it's 20 actually. Oh, we have enough for this one because we may, we may actually need heat shield just in case. There we go. What next we have is the basic science. Oh yeah, we're on the science now. This is Putnik. Stay Putnik MK1. Um, rechargeable battery pack is 100. Hot, too hot to monitor. Calm D S O T. I don't know why they call it too hot to monitor. It's not even really hot. Oh well. That's how Jebediah works.
back in, oh, back in here, you guys. I might be, I might be talking to you as well. I'll try, hold on. I'll be right back. We almost forgot the the. I've almost forgot about the the contract. It may be still less right now. So. Uh -huh. Oh no, Urban Kerbin in only five days. Oh, that's my only contract left. It's been, oh, that's a lot of acting. Oh, my goodness, it's just bad. This is actually. Bill Kerman, you're ready to watch a Kerbal Study 1. Kerbin Study 1. Study Kerbin Atmosphere. Alright, so we are actually going to see how we have any contra pass because I will just waste my life or anything. We're just going to go like 5,000 5, 5, kilometers meters from KSP. KS, KSP's Kerbal Space Center. Yeah, I already know that, so let's see. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Record of nine kilometers, nineteen kilometers. Okay, we're out of fuel. Separate. Oh boy, this is not how it works. We're just, we're just going too fast. All right, just what the hell? I can't, I can't, I can't pick up science. Yeah, I wish I should buy more crews, but it will be too much work. Go do your job. It seems like it's very cold right now. You are. Oh my goodness, we're just kind of... Oh, the world first land distance. 5,000 5, meters from the atmosphere. We did it, actually, for sure. All right, this was a hard work. We're now going to fall down to Earth or Kerbin again. We're going to fall to Kerbin again. Why are you spinning so fast? 
guess it means we need I guess we need a pilot actually. The problem is if we if we're re reentering, we're gonna burn up the atmosphere so realistically and we're actually falling to the surface quickly. Let's hope the fraction can actually can stable the ship. Yeah, I see I learned my lesson to get the pilot because the problem is we're re entry. With this kind of re-entry shield, we're gonna burn up the ship. Oh, sometimes it actually controls for you. There's no re you won't your ship wouldn't explode if there's a re-entry shield kind of protecting for a second as it moves, wobbling up. I put the shield just in case it was gonna overheat. No, it won't actually. We're slowing down anyways. To hear the crash of the ship, where it's gonna be exploded or fall off in the water and throw in the water. Oh, I forgot the crew report. Oh. No, that's not good. Oh well. Oh, we're gonna do some reports on water. Yeah, separate the parachute. Whoa, that was rough. Well, first world land distance record of 11 kilometers. This is the biggest record that we've seen. I thought it would actually be faster once it falls to the parachute. Alright, now we're slowing down by the parachute and getting ready to splash down. Uh, yeah, we're going to splash down on the ocean of the education of the program center. I call it the Portland Center. We're still slowing and just kind of. I wish I can actually warp a problem as I'm worried the may parachute may actually be bugging again if it did, I'm just I'm really just gonna die. But maybe the one way I can survive Bill if I actually turn it upside down and use his helmet to protect from his fall. Because I thought it's supposed to be a water break. I don't know what the big deal killed or get killed on the water. But no, we're just gonna So anyways, I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm going to say this, but I might actually, I'm going to say that sometime I'll actually record videos about like, um, only per day, like, only like on Wednesdays or something like, I guess it's only like per week, per week, except weekends, I might actually be able to play two times per day, one day and tomorrow. Because I guess the good news is I'm actually working or going to school, actually I go to school, I'm still young, but yeah. It would actually be like only a few days until Friday, maybe Friday or Saturday, Sunday. I would actually maybe play once in three days. Because my next is a launch, my ship called the Jelly Ship. Actually, that's my name for the ship. I'm going to use the Jelly Ship. That will be the new second generation. We are going to use this traditional one. Once we successfully enter out of atmosphere, we're going to use the other two type of cockpit, the new generation cockpit, to try to launch and use into the higher, deeper in space or to get way to get more technology so we can get out and land on the moon or moon I meant to say and for sure we should be kind of done yeah I may not actually be on time because I'm actually recording too long but for now I might actually be able, I might actually plan to record another part too for in case because I'm actually kind of recording really long Mentally. Since my internet is so lack of way of lack of speed upload, it will probably take a long time to record. It will probably take an hour to record and upload videos, but this might be so long. So this will be the last video. This will be the end for the video for now. I know it's kind of like only one ship launch, but I hope in the future I'll actually cut off some parts and maybe put together and I should make a complete video of it. In the future, I might plan to make my Hervey space station once I get more advanced technology. And maybe possible Mackie on the moon, Mackie the miner, or yeah, Mackie the miner and the curb lab or the blue lab or the sky lab, which I like to call. This is I'm still gonna plan what I can do. Once I touch down and finish the science and cover, this will be the end of the video right now. Well, Bill, this is gonna be your first splash down. For sure, we're gonna hit the splash down.
was there, 44 millimeters away from the splashdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Splashdown! We have a splashdown. You know what? I may not have time because he's not actually going to hold his ship. He may go upside down, so. Actually, I have to go. I'm scared actually, just because it might be possible I'll actually fall off the ship. He did. Oh no, he's he's stable now. Oh, we actually have nothing, so we're gonna reboard. There we go. Now let's recover the ship. Seventeen scientists. That's good. And you know what? This will be it for now because I'm actually going too long. So. Thank you for watching this only one launch video. I'll see you next time. Or maybe I'll make a part two, so I'll find out. So bye bye.